everybody. Dutch Sense here. 2.15 p.m. Central Time on Sunday, November 10th, 2013. And we're looking at the morphed microwave background imagery again, and you can see the remnants of Haiyan blowing westward into Asia. And behind Haiyan, this is not marked currently, but a new rotation is developing just north of Papua New Guinea here. And it looks like it's starting to rotate pretty heavy. What I want to draw your attention to, though, is something that's going on in the composite which is a microwave beam of some kind comes out of the Philippines or Indonesia. It's kind of hard to tell where exactly in this island chain it's coming from. And it arches up and then back down into the center of where the rotation then really begins to pick up. You see it gets dark here. Let's just wait for it again. And I'm talking about this microwave beam and we're seeing it directly. So uh, you see the beam and then the storm begins its rotation. There you go. Now you'll also see one out here to the east, just west of Hawaii. This is Hawaii here. And you'll see the same thing happen. One, two, it looks like it happens two times out here. And down here, it looks like it happens one, two. There's two beams, and then something else happens. It's kind of hard to make out. It almost looks like some kind of circular anomaly at the center of the storm here, right there. Again, wait for it. I'll get my mouse out of the way here. First beam, second beam, right there. So I don't know what to make of that. I know that this is a composite image compiled of total precipitable water. And so when we see a lack of water appear, that to me is a heating that's being done via microwave. And so that's gonna cause a lighter appearance or a disappearing of moisture altogether like what we saw a couple weeks ago. It's just wild to see, we need to keep track of this. Let's go over to the Sims page really quick and you'll notice they do not have a tropical system marked here at all. Even though it's rotating, even though it looks like it's fairly powerful, let's jump over to College of DuPage really quick Go see what it actually shows for uh, cloud temperatures. That'll show us the storm strength. And the colder, the higher the cloud tops on these massive storms, the bigger the storm is. Now you're gonna see this massive storm here. Again, that's high end. This is the last seven days. We're looking uh, down on the North Pole. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on color enhancement here. I'll put links down below for this so you guys can do this yourself. So watch high end go across. You see it's up here in the upper greens and blues, borderline pink for Haiyan. Now behind that, there it is. Okay, so it has a blue center with a, uh, yeah, we're talking almost the same cloud temperatures that were associated with Haiyan when it first started. Now this is further south, just north of Papua New Guinea. You've got to hope that when, once it hits land that it's going to die out. Maybe that's why they haven't marked it as a tropical system yet, even though it has rotation, even though it has huge high cloud tops and looks like it's beginning to develop and rotate and come to the north. So again, there's Haiyan, here's our microwave pulses, here's the rotation, and as it rotates, it begins to flip up here to the north. It's heading in this direction. There's no way for it to break fully north. It's not gonna go back east, and it's not gonna go south. South is Australia. Let's go check out Australia really quick, okay? Now this is the same shot, you'll see it rotate. Here's our microwave pulses. It looks like it's coming from Indonesia or uh, Western Papua New Guinea, out here in the island chain, right here. But you'll see it's not gonna pull south. The dominating flow is going to pull it to the slight northwest, which puts it right over the Philippines and then into uh, Northern Indonesia. Well, there it is, guys. Hang in there. Hey everybody, uh, quick update. It is 6.54 p.m. Central Time on Sunday, November 10th, 2013. And you just heard the video I recorded earlier and that was done with Tat on the phone, by the way, Tattooed. And if you guys wanna see his video, he's gonna be putting one up as well. Um, I just put this out three minutes ago on my Facebook page. This came over from a viewer who lives in the Philippines, and I've got the story to back this up here, but I'll show it to you. As per our weather forecasters at Pagasa, 
The next typhoon, Zoraida, is going on the same track where Yolanda and Haiyan wreaked havoc. Please update us too. And then I said, everyone, I just put this out a few hours ago. Another microwave pulse happened and went into this area now called Zoraida. Here's the official news on it from two hours ago. And uh, here's their story. Okay, from the Philippine Sun Star. Here's Zoraida, an officially named tropical depression now heading in the same direction, going to go across the Philippines. Let's hope it dies out at this point. Boy, you know, you just saw it though. It formed out of a microwave pulse, undeniable. We recorded the video earlier. Now they just announced this. This is a confirmation, of course, and it's not a good confirmation. And I went and put a whole post together on my blog, and I'll put a link below to this as well, so you guys can see everything that was just discussed in the video that I recorded is over here on the blog. You can watch it yourself, okay? Much love, be safe. I'll put all the links down below. If you guys have any questions, any questions at all, these links will answer them. There is no debate. There's people that are coming below my video saying it's not possible. The experiments have already been done, guys. The US Navy has created plasma in the atmosphere using radio frequency. Not trillion watts, we're talking in the millions to billions. Definitely generatable, definitely capable of being done multiple times in a row. It doesn't take some huge power grid to do it. We're talking mobile systems are capable of doing this. It's amazing, guys. And the fact that Zoraida formed out of this, and let's just wait for it one more time. There. Zoraida formed out of that. Much love, guys.